What's up, everybody? It's your boy AC, and I'm back with another edition of LA Sports Live. Now, you guys see that thumbnail, you see the title. We kind of got two quick topics I want to talk about in this video. And uh, look, we all, you know, we're all in this country, we're all aware of the thing that's going on. The things are going to many different things are going on in this country, and one happens to be the uh, the BLM or Black Lives Matter uh, movement that's going on. Um, of course, after the tragic je death of George Floyd, you know, there's just a lot of things are changing in this country. Uh, in my opinion, a lot of things are changing for the good. But let me just get my opinion on it. Like these things, like these little token ass gestures of getting rid of ancient mama or ancient mama or whatever the fuck she's called. Or getting rid of Miss Butterworth's syrup or Uncle Ben's the, the rice. Um, the everlasting uh, argument about these damn stupid ass monuments of these, you know, <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't even want to discuss the names. But my but my point is, these food products, uh, these stupid ass statues, you know. People are treating these things like they're a big deal, which all of these things are offensive, by the way. But to me, this should have, it should have been done a long time ago. This shit is nothing to talk about it or to be arguing about over it or making a big deal of it. Because it should have been done a long time ago. And it don't need to be blasted on the news. The powers that be just need to get rid of that shit and be done with it. So to me, it's not that really big of a deal to me. But if you want to make it a big deal, hey, that stuff should have been gone a long time ago. There's no need to be no arguing or fighting over all this other kind of crap that you see going on in the news. It just needs to be done, over with. Now, Washington Redskins, um, we all know damn well Daniel Snyder will not have not entertained changing the name of them Redskins unless the money start talking. And you know the all you know the old saying money talks and bullshit walks. Those main core sponsors of the Washington Redskins say, "Hey Daniel, the time is up. The name must change." And just like that, guess what? They're gonna change their name by September. Probably the same thing's gonna happen with the uh, Cleveland Indians. My whole point is, me as an African American black man. Oh yeah, and the NFL announced. They're going to start playing, I think, the week one of the NFL season. They're going to play the Black National Anthem before the regular National Anthem at these games. And to me, that's another token-ass uh, gesture to try to capitulate to BLM and all the black NFL players. I, th I just think it's a bunch of bull. Uh, the players, if you know, if, if they're happy with that, that's on them. But if I was one of those players in the NFL, I would go to them and say, hey, man, I would go and listen to the man and say, hey, we need to do this, we need to do this, and we need to do that. And definitely, Kaepernick needs to be given a fair chance because he was blackballed out of the league. Now, I try to really refrain from these political rants, but, you know, these are hot topics. And, uh, you know, sometimes people just have to call things you know, for what they are. And to me, just a lot of these things, I think they're just a lot of token gestures. And I'm still waiting for the the big uh, game changer legislation and the, the qualified immunity for these police officers who are violating people's civil rights. That's what I'm looking for to see change. You know, the hell with all these stupid ass statues and all this other kind of crap. That's what, that's what, don't people understand? That's what history museums are for. Anyhow, it's your boy, ACLA Sports Live. I'm probably pissing people off. I'm probably scaring some people away, but hey, man, that's my opinion. Anyhow, I'll wrap with y'all later.